A title rematch, a rematch of the decade, we feel. Danny Little Red Lopez, who held that title, the featherweight championship, for three and a half years, including eight title defenses, lost it in February to a strong, heavily torsoed Mexican named Salvador Sanchez. And today, Danny Little Red Lopez will try to regain it. He's 28 years old. Sanchez is only 22. At 7 a.m. this morning, they weighed in the featherweight limit of 126 pounds. Salvador Sanchez, 5'6 and a half, 22 years old, a good reach at 68 inches. He's going against Danny Little Red Lopez, the number one contender and former champion. We'll be back with up close. 28-year-old Danny Little Red Lopez is extremely proud. Lies the tiny village of Tanguistenco, Mexico. It's a typically sleepy little town. But recently there's been a lot of excitement caused by that young man, the WBC featherweight champion of the world, Salvador Sanchez. He was born and raised in this tiny house, one of 11 children. And although he now lives in an apartment down the street, he still is around the house constantly, playing with his young brother and sister. And with the other family that shares the Sanchez front yard. He first began boxing in a local gym, the minor leagues of Mexican boxing. But his obvious potential brought him eventually to the Gimnasio Margarita in Mexico City, which has produced many Mexican boxing stars. He began as a young man like that one, with only dreams of someday being champion of the world. But today, he has turned that dream into reality, maximizing his potential with dedication and desire. In his early fights, he obviously wasn't always as polished as he is today. In fact, he was sometimes crude, but he showed punching power and tremendous endurance, qualities that he put on display in awesome fashion last February against then-champion Danny Lopez. He stood up to Little Red's desperate flurries and battled back with incredible poise and talent for a 21-year-old. And so the Mexican farm boy became WBC champion of the world. He has defended his title once against classy boxer Ruben Castillo. And again, he won on superior stamina and skill. Obviously, many things have changed in Salvador's life since he won the title. Now, six weeks before every fight, he moves to San Luis Iturbide and the palatial estate of his manager, Jose Torres Landa, a prominent Mexican attorney. A complete training facility has been erected in the middle of a huge ranch, where there are many reminders to Salvador of the good fortune that has been his because of boxing. He knows that he might well be a field worker spending long hours under the hot Mexican sun if he had not found a way out through his skills in the ring. He knows also that his manager has provided him with everything he needs to improve those skills, including a full-time doctor who monitors the champion's blood pressure during his workout to make sure he doesn't do too little or too much. In the luxurious surroundings of his manager's home, he's treated like a king, with servants everywhere to see that he is happy. But despite all the trappings of wealth that now are part of his life, Salvador Sanchez seems unspoiled by it all. He is still a quiet, serious young man, still training hard, determined now that he is champion to hold his title for a long, long time. And there is a live shot in the dressing room of Salvador Sanchez, 5'6 and a half, 22 years old, a good reach at 68 inches. He's going against Danny Little Red Lopez, the number one contender and former champion. We'll be back with up close and personal on Lopez after this. I'd say we got a to the man he hopes to take the title from, Salvador Sanchez. Danny Little Red Lopez, a neat guy. Let's learn more about him. This is the neighborhood in Alhambra, California, where Danny Lopez has set his roots. He lives in that modest home with his wife, Bonnie, and three handsome young sons. But Danny's early life was a far cry from this warm family scene. His own childhood began on the Ute Indian Reservation in Fort Duchesne, Utah. One of eight children, his father left home when Danny was five, leaving the family in a tiny shack without running water with only sheets of plastic on the windows and a wood-burning stove to battle the icy Utah winters. The shack is no longer standing, but Danny sometimes visits his former home site and recalls his early years. I'm glad that I'm where I am now, that I can come back and look at this place and know where I came from. It gives me something to drive for. I remember a lot of cold and a lot of hunger. 
my mother had eight kids to support, and uh, that's what the welfare gave her wasn't enough. And uh, I remember eating uh, a lot of sugar sandwiches, uh, my sister and I, and uh, that was a treat to us. This is where I finished ninth grade here in Roosevelt Junior High School. Got in an awful lot of trouble stealing and stuff like that. Same point in my life, I uh, did a lot, a lot of other stuff, but a lot of running away from home. Went to about six or seven different foster homes and uh, just couldn't get along with anybody. Uh, started fighting amateur about the age of 16, and uh, I think that's where my whole life turned around. It really gave me a, a new start there. He began as a raw 16-year-old, inspired by the example of his brother Ernie, a welterweight good enough to fight twice for the title. Danny got his chance on November 6, 1976, before 100,000 hostile African fans in Accra, Ghana, there to cheer for champion David Cote. But after 15 brutal rounds, the challenger from America had won the WBC crown. He defended his crown successfully eight times, despite almost always being in trouble early. Every time he showed his champion's heart, getting off the deck to destroy his opponents with his spectacular punching power. But it was a dangerous tightrope he was walking, and he fell off it against Salvador Sanchez. The famous Lopez punch couldn't rattle his young opponent. And although he never went down, Danny Lopez took a terrible beating and lost his crown. That loss has raised questions about his boxing future. Yeah. But Danny hasn't let it affect his life outside the ring. He still enjoys the time he gets to spend with the family he is so proud of. Determined to give his kids the father's love and attention that he missed growing up. Every day he makes the transition from a gentle, soft-spoken family man to a giver and taker of the physical punishment that is part of his chosen profession. Danny Lopez doesn't need the money anymore, and there are many people who think that he should hang up the gloves that he has taken enough over the years. But deep below the quiet surface, there's a fire burning and Danny, he's determined to prove the critics wrong. Yeah, I've heard people say that I, you know, that I should retire, and uh, there's a lot of people that do bug me a bit. I've read some clippings in uh, newspaper articles, which I shouldn't let them bother me, but some of them do, and they're really cutting me down how that I'm an old man and everything, and I should get out because I lost this one fight. Which my first loss in uh, five years. Well, I'd, li I'd like to get in there and win this title back, which I plan on and shed a lot of people's mouths. And there in the right corner in the red trunks, 28-year-old Lopez on the far side with his chiseled facial features, aggressive, a punishing fighter, Salvador Sanchez. Scheduled for 15 rounds. Up into the ring now. And the sports pavilion announcer, Chuck Hall. Introducing... In the blue corner, the former featherweight champ and now rated number one in the world, fighting out of Alhambra, California, weighing 126 pounds, Danny Little Red Lopez. And in the red corner, the current WBC featherweight champion of the world, fighting out of Mexico City, Mexico. He weighs 126 pounds, introducing Salvador Sanchez. 15 rounds of boxing. All right, here at the Sports Pavilion, live coverage of this return match. Mills Lane is the referee. He is from Reno, Nevada, a former fighter himself, tried out for the 1960 Olympic team, which was made, by, of course, by Muhammad Ali and the gold medal. Right now, giving instructions to these two men who met in February, a bruising fight. Lopez took a lot of punishment. It'll be interesting now, and you must watch along with me how he handles his defense. Because in the past, he thought that power would make up for his lack of defense. Well, not against Salvador Sanchez, who never stops. Throws punches from every angle. Round one of a scheduled 15-round WBC featherweight championship bout. In the last fight, Lopez in the red trunks are on the left tried to throw the knockout punch. He lost the bout in the 13th round. And he was also cut up over both eyes and beneath the right eye. So we'll keep an eye on that as well. Sanchez in the black trunks with the white stripe, always on the move. Body movement. Good 
There's a right-hand lead. He throws all sorts of combinations, throws them in flurries. Never lets up. The aggressor, as expected, is Little Red Lopez. 126 pounds. They made it at 7 a.m. this morning. Then we uh, join Denny Little Red Lopez with an Italian breakfast. His manager, Benny Giorgino, set one up that was, uh, well, it's memorable. Good punch on the forehead thrown by Sanchez and the black trunks on the far side. Not heavy punches on that exchange. Lopez is noted to be a slow starter, and he just caught a right hand on the chin. A crisp punch, and now a little left hook. With his back to us, look at the movements. Beautiful movements by the featherweight champion. And now uh, Lopez, little red, going to work on the body. Good jabs. Ten-point must system, WBC rules. The referee does not take part in the scoring the fight. A good left hook by Little Red Lopez. Shaken off by Sanchez, the champion, and they exchange solid shots. We said it would be a crowd pleaser. Their styles make it happen. The mandatory uh, eight count. No standing count. You cannot be safe for the bell except for the 15th round at the end of it. Two Mexican judges, one from Las Vegas. They will do the scoring. We're looking now if there is a cut over the left eye of Salvador Sanchez, the champion, up against the ropes. And look at those exchanges. Solid punches, both flat-footed. Trying to end it early, and a good left hook thrown by Little Red Lopez. We're in the last minute of round one. Tremendous first round pace. All right, we look now, and the cornerman of Sanchez will have to go to work of the cut over his left eye. Does not look deep at this point. And the pressure now put on by Little Red Lopez. But he just took two shots, a right and a left. Another left jab. Right hand leads are getting to Lopez, and that's the way he's often been knocked down. The bell in about five seconds, round one. Every seat sold here at the Sports Pavilion, Caesars Palace, a rematch, former champion in red. On the left, bombing away as he always does, Danny Little Red Lopez, the champion since February of this year. Salvador Sanchez from Mexico. Boy, the punches are landing. This will not go the distance. You can count on it. It was only abrasion above the left eyebrow of the champion Sanchez. So it required, really, no repair work in his corner. Second round, scheduled for 15. Miles Lane, the referee, doing a great job staying at his distance, just allowing them to bang away. Good body and foot movement by Sanchez. That was probably the best first round that Lopez has had in a long time. Notoriously slow, but he's being caught with the right-hand leads now, much too often. Partially blocked, left hook to the body, thrown by Sanchez, the black trunks. Little Red Lopez is 5'8 and a half, the champion 5'6 and a half. Lopez has an inch advantage in the reach at 69 inches. Solid punches caught by Lopez on the chin. Blocked that one, the left hook thrown by the champion. Danny's still trying to unload that right hand, the knockout punch. He scored 39 of them. His first 21 bouts as a pro ended in knockouts. The champion Sanchez has only one loss and a draw. And a brilliant career. Again, a glancing right hand thrown by Sanchez on the right. Another one, and a left hook. Toe-to-toe -to -toe slugging by both featherweights. <laughs> Lo 
Lopez told me best condition of his career that began in 1971. Sanchez, the 22-year-old champion, started in 75. 36 total bites, bouts. We have 20 seconds remaining in the second round. Roving to that midsection, trying to get those hands down. The champion Sanchez, look at his great body movement. But he caught that, was glancing, but it scored points. Now we're looking at round three, our live coverage from Caesars Palace Sports Pavilion, a rematch for the WBC featherweight champion of the world. With his back to us now, dancing around to our left, that is Danny Little Red Lopez, who defended his title eight times over a three and a half year period, trying to regain it now from 22 year old Salvador Sanchez in the black trunks. There have been no knockdowns. The only uh, mark is, oh, a tremendous right hand. And Sanchez now is beginning to land punches from long range. And that's the way he likes to throw them, and he can. Trying to just get within range, whereas there Lopez did snap away from one of the, the heavy punches. Sanchez won it in Phoenix, Arizona. Against Lopez. Lopez won his title in Ghana. In 1976 against Cote. Quick hands on the part of the champion. Good stiff left jab by Lopez. Oh, he walked right into a right hand lead. And now backing away is Lopez. A body punch right to the solar plexus thrown by Lopez. A good punch, the best body punch he's thrown. We're in the third round. 10 point must, 10 to the winning fighter of the round, nine or less to the loser. Again, a little left jab and then the right hand by Sanchez. He's methodical, poised, but hard with the right hand. Mills Lane, the referee. Danny Lopez is catching too many punches. They'll take their toll a little bit later on, unless he can get across his bomb, his right hand. 30 seconds left in round three. He unloaded it there, but missed. in the Caesars Palace ring. Another championship bout here on ABC. We've done many here. And having seen that fight last night right here in the sports pavilion from where I'm talking and helping you enjoy this championship bout, I can only tell you July 19th is an afternoon to set aside. It was a tremendous bout. Our congratulations to Duran. And there is consolation to our friend Sugar Ray Leonard because he proved to everyone that he could take punishment. Some heavy punches. And here in this bout, as we are in the fourth round of a scheduled 15 round of the champion, who is clever in the black trunks, is taking more punches than he did in their first fight. But he's dishing out some heavy leather and catching Little Red in the head. Good right hand body punch thrown by the champion against the ropes. Watch him try to squirm out of it. He does it beautifully. That's a moving target. Sanchez, the champion. Very difficult to land the bomb. Two best punches by Little Red, but look at the champion fight back. What condition! Speed. 
Remember, Little Red is 28. Lopez in the red trunks. Sanchez, the champion on the right, moving up on his toes now, circling, walking right into the heavy leather, circling maybe the wrong way. Using uh, movement of the body for defense as the champion with his back to us. This is the fourth round. And Lopez is just a little short of his target. They're landing but not connecting solidly. We have about 40 seconds remaining in the fourth round. Remember the last time they met with 13. Then because of punishment, cuts over both eyes, the fight was stopped in the 13th round, and Sanchez, against the ropes, became the champion. He just joined us. Neither fighter has been on the deck. Well, in 10 seconds, round four. On the right, intent and skill, 22-year-old Salvador Sanchez, the champion, winning it from the man who's in the ring trying to gain it back, Danny Little Red Lopez. Strategy a little bit different in this fight. Now, Sanchez is the champion. They're bombing away beautifully with combinations. Almost defiant, as if now I am the champion, I'm going to try to knock you out. There was a good right hand, and if he keeps throwing those and landing, he may get the job done. There's this little similarity between the way Sugar Ray Leonard fought last night. Duran getting him to fight Duran's type of fight, not Leonard's type. Good, solid, short punches. Remember, three judges are scoring it on the 10-point must. Two from Mexico, one from Las Vegas. Harold Buck. Miles Lane, the referee, as usual, doing his fine job, staying out of the way of the two featherweights. That right hand blocked on the arm of the champion. Mixing up their punches, but mainly headhunters. We'd like to alert our stations along the line that we'll take a station break at the end of this round. And it's round five, fast paced. the champion Sanchez beginning to use some of his clever backpedaling. Hard to hit, isn't he? Well, an equal exchange. Sanchez moving beautifully. Got speed of foot. Great body movement. Remember, this is his 37th fight. We have about 25 seconds left in the fifth round. Lopez, you saw, trying to jab two or three times and hope, hoping to land that right hand. But he gets caught with a left hook. The right roundhouse missing barely missing we'll return with more of abc's white world of sports after this from our local stations all right back again sports pavilion wbc featherweight championship champion of the black trucks landing with a right hand lead former champion danny little red lopez who looked very leg weary going back to the corner after the fifth round absorbed a lot of punches to the head mainly wily clever 
Sanchez, the champion, on the left. Trying to get to the body, but it's been upstairs throughout this bout. As we mentioned earlier, between them, 66 knockouts, 82 bouts. Lopez in the red trunks really wants that title back. No one held the crown for three and a half years more uh, proudly or distinguished than Lopez. Ooh, and he has taken. Followed up and look at the speed of the champion, Sanchez. He's trying to end it right here in round six. But Denny survived well. We have about a minute and 40 seconds remaining in this sixth round. If Danny can get through this. Remember, he did not knock him down in their first match. But so much punishment and cuts that the referee wisely stopped the bout and Sanchez became the champion. That one missed. The right hook. Another one. Caught on the side of the face by Lopez. His eyes appear clear as we're sitting here at ringside. They're fighting right above us. The fans, capacity crowd, loving it as they did the Duran Leonard fight, which you can see July 19th on ABC's Wide World of Sports. These are featherweights. Last night, welterweights. Well, those combinations take the steam out of Lopez punches. We'll see. Coming up to the 32nd mark of round six. No knockdowns. Again, it's the defense of the former champion Lopez. His power not neutralizing the quick hands. And his defense certainly not. So he holds his hands in classic fashion. His opponent gets the punches through. Like. <laughs> so the combinations are right at a left hook classic. It makes every trainer and manager smile. There's the champion on the right that landed those haymakers in round six as we go into the seventh round, scheduled for 15 featherweight championship. Lopez has taken a tremendous amount of punches. He's done that throughout his career, but then again, he has knocked out 39 opponents, or over 80% of the men that he has met. But not last time, when he lost the title to the 22-year-old. And uh, Sanchez just allows to be pushed around a little bit. Had a great time for an uppercut. Digging left jabs to the face do uh, not so much damage, but it's actually a defensive weapon. Blocks the vision of the opponent. Good body punch by Lopez in red. <laughs> you, you heard that one. We're in the seventh round. Lopez trying to get together combinations, but he is being beaten to the punch. Clever Sanchez trying to get him to drop those arms, but he gets one between the gloves, a left hook. Another one. And Danny keeps trying to land that powerful right hand. Good left hook. Thrown by Lopez. Good digging by Lopez. Oh. Equal exchange. Powerful punches. Good left jabs by Sanchez. Lopez now perhaps getting a little arm weary as 
becoming wild, inaccurate. 30 seconds, round seven. Now there may be a cut in the right eyebrow of Lopez. Get a closer look at it as he gets closer to us here. Danny Little Red Lopez, we're looking at him now. The second fighter to be marked. Abrasion in the right eyebrow earlier in the first round. It was an abrasion for the champion Sanchez in the black trunks against the ropes. Should not cause them any problems at this point. We're in Las Vegas, Nevada, for the second meeting between these two featherweights. Former champion Lopez on the right, and the man that won the title from Lopez in February in Phoenix, Arizona, Salvador Sanchez of Mexico. One of 11 children, Lopez on the left, one of eight, family of eight, from the Ute Indian Reservation, Fort Duchesne, Utah. Sneaky puncher, Sanchez the champion. Looks as though he's off balance, but can still wing that right hand, especially. Like there, and then followed it up with a left hook. His movement has been tremendous here in the last three rounds. Sanchez. Benny Giorgino, Lopez's manager, told him to bring it up. Uppercut if he could in this round. Oh, not if you catch punches like those right-hand leads thrown by Sanchez. Another one, partially blocked. This has been non-stop action. Mills Lane, the referee, he just moves around the perimeter of the ring and watches along with you. Tremendous reflexes, the part of Salvador Sanchez. Look at those quick hands. Accurate, flurry puncher, combination, searching. Trying to successfully defend his title for the second time. Oh, give and take. Coming out, br pure brawl. 30 seconds left in this. Heavy hitting round seven. Make it eight. They'll get a much needed rest in about 10 seconds. <laughs> Keeping um, off balance and next X one originating in London, England. Howard Cosell will be there to bring you Alan Mentor against Vito Antifermo in a world middleweight championship bout. Five Eastern and Pacific, four Central, and it's another rematch. So we have back-to-back -back rematches here on ABC's Wide World of Sports. We hope you're enjoying them, as now we look forward to the ninth round, and this is Danny Little Red Lopez. Perfectly coherent. He may be getting a little tired, however, because he's absorbed a lot of punches. We have Sanchez ahead at this point of the bout. You're looking at the ninth round, scheduled for 15 and moving cleverly. Sanchez. WBC World Boxing Featherweight Championship. Number one contender, pressing the fight, backing away, is the champion. Extremely clever counter puncher. Can take the lead when he wants to, as he did in the earlier rounds. Unbelievable condition. Have to give Lopez a lot of credit. His condition is excellent, or he'd have been down. 
Weighed in at 126. He was, oh, about a quarter of a pound over at 7 a.m. this morning. But he took a little walk. Got rid of the quarter and made the 126 limit. See with that head and body movement causing Lopez to miss. Meanwhile, launching his own attack. Sanchez on the left. He looks like one of the Mexican fighters that will be around for a long time. Just as Lopez has been, 28 years old. Three and a half year reign of this division. Oh, right hand lead followed by a left hook. Just too many punches absorbed by Lopez. Brutal. Slashing punches by Sanchez. the last time you as viewers saw as complete a fighter as Sanchez on the left I saw two great ones last night from Montreal and you can see them on ABC's wide world of sports July 19th Duran Leonard they get a rest in 10 seconds round nine Jack McCoy, Danny Little Red Lopez's cut man, had to go work on a slight cut in the left eyebrow of the former champion. So now he is marked over both eyes when he lost the title to the man on the right, clever Salvador Sanchez, who was stopped in the 13th because of punishment and cuts over both eyes. We're now in round 10. Clever Sanchez, moving target. And for a puncher like Lopez, he just can't get set to throw the right. And here you see the offense. Right hand leads by Sanchez. what this champion's pulse rate must be. It's got to be very low because he isn't even breathing heavily. Mouth hasn't been opened, gasping for breath as most fighters do. But this has been nonstop. Condition of Lopez, well, we're really impressed. Stand up and take the punches and the movement. And at this point in the 10th round, it has to be frustrating for Lopez who in the past could find his opponent and knock him out. But not today. We'd like to alert our stations along the line. We'll take a station break at the end of this, the 10th round. trying to cut off the ring, but he just can't do it against the ballet-like movements of Sanchez, the champion. So confident. Twenty-five seconds, round ten. Blocked. Yeah. 
What punching. We'll return with more of ABC's Wide World of Sports after this from our local stations. We've reached round 11 of the scheduled 15 round championship bout. Former champion Danny Little Red Lopez on the right going against Salvador Sanchez who took the title away from him in February. For Lopez this is his first fight since losing the title in February. Whereas the champion won a 15 round decision and a title offense against Ruben Castillo. And he is sharp here this afternoon at the Sports Pavilion in Las Vegas. Pressing everyone. He did absorb a heavy right hand as you saw near the end of that 10th round thrown by Lopez. Didn't bother him at all. Oh, a right and a left. A glancing right hand from far out. Lopez's corner tell him keep his hands up. Just can't unload the combination that he wants to deliver. Snapping away from that punch. That's the wildest we have seen the champion, Sanchez, trying to throw two hooks. His pace has been unbelievable. Lopez continuing to move forward, trying to set him up with a jab and a right hand. Having trouble doing it. It'll get more difficult as the fight goes on. And as we said, with that solid right hand near the end of the last round, Sanchez shook it off. Another good one. Toe to toe. Tremendous heart on the part of the former champion. A lesser fighter would have been down, believe me. And that's why 22-year-old Sanchez has registered 27 knockouts in 34 wins. Flurry of combinations getting to the opponent. Coming up to the last 15 seconds of the 11th round. Round 12, WBC Featherweight Championship of the World. Danny Little Red Lopez, the aggressor, moving forward, trying to regain the title. He lost to Sanchez. That was a slip. After pulling back from a punch that he knew he was going to miss. And making him miss has been a clever featherweight. Look at that footwork, body movement. Gloves always moved, staying out of range. But we've seen a, almost a complete display of boxing skills by the champion from Mexico. Neither fighter has been down. Their last bout, title bout, was stopped in the 13th. As we said, we're in the 12th. Good left hand, but firing right back is the youngster from Mexico. Confidence, not in awe of the hitting power in Lopez. Tremendous vision and timing, Sanchez. 
is blessed with. Well drilled in the fundamentals. And of course, defense, one of the four key points that the three judges here are looking for in scoring the bout. Two judges from Mexico, Harold Buck from Las Vegas. Two <laughs> exchange after exchange. That's the way it's been. If you've just joined us, we're in the 12th round. And why one of the two have, haven't been on the deck? Well, it's credit to their training. Look at those combinations. Oh, Lopez taking it. 25 seconds before they'll get a rest. by 20 ring here at the Sports Pavilion in Las Vegas. Danny Little Red Lopez. As now we go into the 13th round, he is trailing. And of course, in order to regain the title, he'll have to land some heavy leather on this 22-year-old. Five, six and a half. 126, like the former champion. Look how calm. A little mouse under the right eye now, just above the cheekbone of Sanchez coming out of the far corner. Lopez on the left. We're in round 13. Now the fans here are yelling Little Red. And go, go, go. And of course, being a sentimental favorite everywhere received the same time reception at the Superdome on the Ali Spinks return championship bout card great credit to boxing but I have this young champion skilled in every department Danny getting some good shots in But Sanchez never allows you to swarm. After landing a combination, say, a left-right, he immediately throws an attack of his own, either that or uses the ring to get away, get out of range, and then comes back with right-hand leads. Not predictable. That is a good way to describe Sanchez. Strategy, well, you almost have to forget it the way he's moving now. Those combinations. I, I, we talk about the condition of Lopez, well, Sanchez trained hard and long for this bout. And it didn't hurt him to go 15 rounds against Castillo in his first title defense. That was in April in Tucson. One of the two Dukes are always right in the vision of Lopez. This is 13th round, two to go. Been no knockdowns, and there is one of the great right hands thrown by Sh Sanchez in this title bout. But Danny Lopez took it. Left hook by Sanchez. Unbelievable confidence for a 22-year-old. And this is the 14th round. Non-stop action from the very beginning. And in 18 hours, we've seen four fighters, two welderweights, and now here this afternoon, two featherweights. 
you wonder how they keep from becoming arm weary. Constantly moving, throwing punches, catching them, staying on their feet. Those are only eight ounce gloves. But with this type of action, they feel a lot heavier. Especially on the part of Lopez. You just can't get that combination off. And of course, as you get a little older, your reflexes do change. He's 28. being beaten to the punch now. We're in the 14th round. Little leg worry now, and it's sensed by the champion, Sanchez. Started to move a little forward instead of backing away. official for in a moment and after tremendous punishment wisely Miles Lane stepped in to stop the bout Lopez wanted to continue and here you here you see why no defense Mills Lane great job for the referee so Danny Little Red Lopez at 142 of the 14th round well it was just too much youth has been served last night it was a little different Duran beating young Sugar Ray Leonard. Well, the champion retains his crown here for the second time. The young man from a little suburb of Mexico City, both coming uh, out of low depths, rising to uh, heights because of the sport of boxing. All right, from another angle now, our ABC uh, cameras replaying what they saw. To see the knees buckle. That's always the first sign. Like the spaghetti we had this morning together, the legs were doing just that. And Mills Lane wisely steps in. So it's a TKO win, and uh, the headdress given to the champion prior to the start of the bout is proudly worn by him, and rightfully so. They exchanged sombreros before the first fight. All right, there's the winner. And still champion, WBC.